What's up? This is John from John Branch for Photography and today I'm super excited because I'm finally going to be upgrading my PC. So in this video I mainly wanted to go over the parts I'm going to be using and why I'm using them and it's going to be less of a tutorial. If you're looking for something specific to show you how to put together parts like these, you should check out a video that F-Stoppers recently put up which you can find here and in the description. They go through the whole, whole part of getting your motherboard and the processor in there and the RAM and everything. So definitely check it out, it's a great video. So as a wedding photographer, I spend most of my time in Adobe apps, mainly Lightroom and Photoshop. And recently, Lightroom has been dragging for me, which you all know, Lightroom is just dirt slow. That's, that's just what it is, there's no changing that. So I was searching around on the internet and I looked up the best optimal performance for Lightroom. And what I found is that Adobe actually recommends a six core processor, which is just crazy because most of the stuff we're using nowadays is like four core. So I decided to go all the way in and get the 9900K with eight cores and 16 threads to just smash Lightroom and call it a day. So let's go over real quick what I'm gonna be upgrading from and then what I picked and why. So on the old machine, I was rocking the 6700K, which I got a little late mainly because I made a Hackintosh and I wasn't sure if any of the newer processors were gonna work. So I kind of regretted doing that and I'm super outdated. Four cores is just not really hitting with Lightroom. It's not working. I'm also gonna be replacing my 120 mil AIO cooler with a 280 because as I know, the 9900K gets super hot and I do plan on overclocking it to about five gigahertz. I already have 64 gigs of RAM and I have a 1080, so that stuff should be fine. Lightroom doesn't really need the graphics card as much. So I'm gonna leave that in there. But I really wanted to upgrade the processor. I have a bunch of 140 mil fans, which I'm gonna replace all my 120s. And then I have a bunch of NVMe SSDs, which I'm gonna put Windows on one, Mac OS on another, and then my third one will be running my photos themselves. So I'm gonna have the actual Lightroom catalogs on that one for optimal speed. For the motherboard, I'm using the Z390 Aorus Master, Aorus, Aorus, Aorus? How do you, how do you say it? How do you, someone please tell me in the comments how to say it. <laughs> but this motherboard is beastie. And I've heard that the VRMs can stay super cool when you're overclocking. So I figured since I had this super hot 9900K, I would just go all the way. Also, it has three M.2 slots in it so I can fit all of my M.2s. So let's go ahead and jump into upgrading this thing. All right, so that, that didn't go as planned at all. <laughs> so this was really only my second build and I kind of struggled through making it. So I kind of cut out all the B-roll of me making the computer. What you just saw was me gutting the computer, which is the first time I've ever taken parts out. And yeah, it was, it was a struggle. So none of that footage, sorry guys. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just talk about the new upgrade, all the parts I have and kind of what I'm seeing in performance. So yet again, all the parts, I have the 280 rad in the front. I replaced my fans on the top, so I have 140 mils up there as well. Then I have two 120. I upgraded all my fans to the new Corsell ML fans, and oh my god, they are quiet. They are so, so quiet. If it wasn't for the fan on my graphics card, my computer would pretty much run silent. Now, one thing with that AIO cooler I have is it does have its own kind of fan profiles. And when my CPU is under load, that thing gets pretty loud. But I, I don't really mind it, it's not so bad. And honestly, it reminds me that it's actually doing work, so it's cool. For my RAM, I have this old school Crucial RAM at 2133 megahertz. I wanna upgrade that because I know the 9900K can actually push way more than that for its memory, so I do need to upgrade. It's probably bottlenecking me, maybe? I'm not sure. Yet again, I'm still pretty noob at this, so let me know in the comments if I'm probably getting bottlenecks from my memory. Also, I have the GTX 1080 Hybrid, which is a really awesome graphics card. I figured since I'm mainly doing Lightroom stuff and it really doesn't use the graphics card that much, it's mainly processor heavy, I really wasn't gonna upgrade my graphics card just yet, but keep an eye out on that 2080 Ti. Maybe if the price drops, maybe, but we, we all know how graphics cards are going nowadays. <laughs> 
For the processor yet again, I'm running with the 9900K. I did overclock it to five gigahertz, so it's it's slamming through Lightroom pretty hard. And then for all my hard drives, like I said, I have the three M.2 drives. I have my Mac OS on one of them, Windows OS on the other, and then all my photos or my working copies of the photos on another one. Then I have two other normal hard drives, so old school four terabyte hard drives for backups. And then I have one more SSD, which I'm probably gonna make. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna do something. What should I do with that last SSD? <laughs> I don't know. So as far as temps on my processor, at idle I'm running about 30 Celsius, under load about 70 Celsius. So it's pretty good for a five gigahertz overclock. Like I said before, the fans do get pretty loud when it's under load, but I don't mind it. And it's not for a long period of time. Usually you're talking about when I'm exporting images or something of that sort. As far as the Cinebench score, I'm seeing 2077 on the PC side and 2000 on the Hackintosh side. I'm not really sure why the hack is slower, but I don't really mind it. As of right now, I'm really just using the hack for video editing and any graphic stuff. Maybe music production as well if I get back into it. If y'all don't know, I have another channel that's dirt old if you want to see me back in the day. Look up B-Boy Spaz on YouTube and you'll see, you'll see old school me doing the old, old YouTube stuff. I'm talking like 10 years ago. It's, it's dirt old. But yeah, I might get back into music production again and I'll probably do that on the Hackintosh side. Also, if you have any questions about the Hackintosh side or you're interested in hacks, let me know. I'm not a guru on it, but I'm definitely happy to point you in the right direction, maybe to get you started and kind of tell you my experience. Also, if you want to see a video on it, let me know and I'll let you know how the Hackintosh has worked out for me, especially as a noob. Like, like I said, I can build a PC, but I'm definitely not, I'm not like PC head guy. I'm, I'm okay at it. So as far as other benchmarks, I really wish there was a way for me to benchmark Lightroom. There was a website I found online and if I find it by the time I finish editing this video, I'll link it somewhere. But they said that they have some kind of tool for benchmarking Lightroom. I don't really know. I'm not gonna do some actual tests because it won't be very scientific. It'll be me running a timer and hoping that I stop it on time. But I am seeing faster imports. I'm seeing faster exports. When I'm using Exposure 4, I'm also seeing faster exports. So it's like super fast compared to what I was using before. You can even see here when I'm doing spot healing, it's just like crushing through this. Or even in Photoshop, if I'm doing Content Aware Fill, it's just so, so fast. So it's been a worthwhile upgrade. If you're looking to upgrade yourself, I highly recommend getting a 9900K. So yeah, that was a quick look at my upgrade. Hope it helped you out. And like I said, again, check out that F-Stoppers video if you wanna know how to put together a computer yourself and you've never done it before. If you have any other questions about computer stuff and you're a noob like me, let me know. Please don't roast me in the comments too hard. Like I said, again, I am a noob, but if you do have questions about anything or how anything's running for me, just let me know. And I'll be happy to post anything in the comments. Y'all don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll be with y'all next time. All right, peace.